Now to prepare alcohols from Grignard reagents. First, what are Grignard reagents? We talked about this in an earlier video, that's the video on alkanes. We said a Grignard reagent is an alkyl magnesium halide. So alkyl magnesium halides are called Grignard reagents. Now these alkyl magnesium halides can be used to prepare alcohols of different types. That is alcohols that could be primary, secondary or tertiary. Now this depends on the nature of the second reagent which I have represented here as XCOY. Now XCOY could be any of methanol, other alkanols, alkanones, esters or even acid chlorides. Now if I were to make this methanol, I'll simply have to put H and H here and there. What about other alkanals? This becomes R and then that is H. So RCHO, general formula for alkanals. Then for alkanones, I would have RCOR. Then for esters, RCOOR. That's an ester. Then acid chlorides, R. C O C L. So all of these compounds can fit into the structure, and that's what I have represented here. Then, apart from these compounds that conform to this overall structure, overall formula, there's a special compound here. We call it ethylene oxide. Ethylene oxide. Ethylene oxide can also be used to make alcohols primary alcohols precisely when it reacts with a Grignard reagent. So Grignard reagent plus ethylene oxide will end up giving us a primary alcohol as you are seeing there. That's the final product. So when a Grignard reagent reacts with ethylene oxide, we get a complex like this. If you look at that complex, that intermediate now, it appears like this R becomes bonded to CH2 then you have CH2, CH2O. Of course, for this to become bonded to that, it means it will dissociate from this. And that means O can now be bonded to what? MGX. So that's like R, CH2, CH2O, MGX. That's what we have there. And then that compound can be hydrolyzed to give us our primary alcohol. But the interesting thing, the unique thing about this method is... The alcohol you get that is primary would usually have two carbon atoms more than the Grignard reagent you start with. So if I have a Grignard reagent with four carbon atoms and I'm carrying out this reaction on it, it means that the alcohol I'm going to get in the end will be primary and will have how many carbons now? Six. It must be two carbons more than the Grignard reagent. So the Grignard reagent here has R, but the alcohol there has R plus two extra carbons. So you bear that in mind. Like I said, it's special. It's different from the general, from what you are seeing on the overall there. So for this overall case, let's write equations for the reaction between all of these and what? The Grignard reagent. So I'm going to put those equations down here, starting with methanol. Now methanol is written as H, C, O and H. And if it were to react with a Grignard reagent, R, M, G, X, what would you expect? According to the overall reaction here, first, this reaction is acid catalyzed. So that's why you have the H plus there. That's a mineral acid catalyzing the reaction. And for ease, for ease, not like the mechanism is exactly like that, but for ease, you can picture this reaction as being like this. This H protonates that oxygen. And when it protonates the oxygen, the oxygen becomes OH. And it means, therefore, that this carbon becomes positive and can, therefore, accept 
a nucleophile. The nucleophile it will accept in that case will be the R of the Grignard reagent. So it's like we are saying you have three things to do. Each time a Grignard reagent is reacting with any of these, what are the three things to do? One, protonate the oxygen. So O becomes OH. Two, make your double bond single. And then three, pick the R of the Grignard reagent and put it under here. So if I were to apply those three steps to this reaction, what would I write? I would have H, C, H. In place of O, I would write O, H. In place of a double bond, I would have a single bond. And then down here, I will attach R. R does not have meaning for now. It could be methyl, it could be ethyl, it could be propyl, it could be butyl, or any other alkyl group. But irrespective of the alkyl group you put here, this final product is a primary alcohol. Because according to the first video on alcohols, we said that this C bonded to OH would have three other bonds. And you ask yourself, how many of these bonds lead you to carbon? In this case, only the lower bond can lead you to carbon, and that means this alcohol would be primary. So, with methanol, if methanol in particular reacts with a Grignard reagent, the alcohol you will get will be primary. So, methanol gives a primary alcohol when reacted with a Grignard reagent. What about other alkanals, which will represent as R? COH. This is the general formula for other alkanals. When other alkanals react with a Grignard reagent, permit me to write um, R. See, I want these two R's to look differently so that you see the change that has taken place. So the R of the Grignard reagent, permit me to write it as. You see, that's R now. Then I'll have MGX. So this is an alkanal, like ethanol, propanol, butanol, any of the alkanals apart from methanol, reacting with a Grignard reagent in the presence of mineral acid. Again, what are our three steps? I'll write the R, C, and H first. Step one, the double bond becomes single. Step two, the O becomes OH. And then in step three, the R of the Grignard reagent is attached under here. So that I have something like this. Yes. So this compound you are looking at is an alkanol. More importantly, a secondary alkanol. So which means if you start with a Grignard reagent and the alkanol you want is secondary, then just use any alkanal apart from methanol. But you use methanol when you want an alcohol that is primary. Now for the other three, alkanones, esters, and acid chlorides. If you use them in this reaction, that is to react with a Grignard reagent, the alcohol you will get will be tertiary. Those ones give tertiary alcohols. And I'd like to write the equations for them on the same board. The equations for the reaction between the other three groups of compounds and our Grignard reagent, all in the presence of acid. So up here, let me start with the alcohol. Um, sorry, the alkanone. So for the alkanone, I have R, C, O, R plus... R M G X in the presence of a mineral acid. Once again, I have written the R of the Grignard reagent in a specific way so that you can trace it easily on the other side. So my product on the other side now would be R, this is C, and that is R. Remember, this is coming from the alkanone skeleton. Time to modify three things. We said step one is make your double bond single. Step two is make that oxygen OH by protonation. So this becomes OH. And then finally, down here, the R of the Grignard reagent will be attached. So that compound you are looking at now is an alcohol 
and it is tertiary. So how can nuns give tertiary alcohols? Now for the last two, which are the ester R C O O R and the acid chloride R C O C L, they react with Grignard reagents in a very special way. And I'd like you to pay attention to how I'll draw the products of these two reactions. In this case, in this first case, we have R C the OR I'll suspend for now. Then I'll carry out the three steps I showed you earlier. That is, this double bond becomes single, the O becomes OH, and then down here, the R of the Grignard reagent, sorry, let me write that well, according to the agreed convention. So this R reflects down here. But that's not all. The OR of the ester is also knocked off and replaced by the R of the Grignard reagent, like this. So it means that the R of the Grignard reagent is added to two points in the ester. So this is not like the others, where you have this whole line retained, then the double becomes single, O becomes OH, and Grignard comes under. In this case, apart from Grignard coming under, Grignard also replaces the OR. So that's what you are seeing there. There's double substitution. All right? Then in this other case, in this other case, see what we have? The RCOCL is reacting with the Grignard reagent, and my product will be R as it came, then C, then OH, and then down here, R. And on that side, R. That means in both reactions involving the ester and the acid chloride, the R of the Grignard reagent will be introduced at two points, not just under now, but in this case, knocking off the OR, and in that case, knocking off the CL. So what you have on the board now is preparation of alcohols from alkanones, from esters, and from acid chlorides by reacting them with Grignard reagents. And the similarity you have here is that they all give you tertiary alcohols. So in summary, to get alcohols from Grignard reagents, the Grignard reagents will be reacted with methanol if we want a primary alcohol, Ethanol, if we want a secondary alcohol, of course, not just ethanol, but any of the other alkanols apart from methanol. Then if we want a tertiary alcohol, we could use an alkanone, an ester, or an acid chloride. But just before I leave this method of preparing alcohols, what if we were to see this in an exam? How would we answer? Let's say under exam conditions, we are given C285, CHO plus CH3MGI in the presence of a mineral acid. If we were asked to create a product for this reaction, how would we do it? Of course, this is propanal. Propanal belongs to the group we call alkanals and it is not methanol. So it means I'm expecting an alcohol here that is what? Secondary. So it means I'm going to draw the product as C285CH. So I have represented this straight line and time to carry out my three steps. I'll make this double bond single and then O becomes OH. And finally down here, I'll have CH3. That compound is an alcohol and it is secondary and its name is butan to all. Butan to all. If you want to see clearly that it's butan to all, you may carry out a rotation. That is, take this CH3 there and bring the H down. If you do so, you see clearly that the product there is butan to all. So I have prepared alcohol successfully from Grignard reagents. But that's not all there is. We may also prepare alcohols from alkyl halides. 
and that's where we'll be going to next after the break.